Welcome, this is the uh, Algebra 1 end of course practice test 2, question number 22. The question says, the table and graph below show a relationship between the corn field in bushels per acre, or sorry, in between corn yield, not a field, the yields in a field, in bushels per acre in various years since 1960. Um, they want to know, using a line of best fit, the issue here is that it's a line of best fit, which means it's linear. What was the likely corn yield in bushels per acre for the year 2000? There's a couple ways you can go about doing this. They were nice enough to go ahead and graph it for you. So, I mean, theoretically, you could get some indication by just trying to do your best to draw a line that sort of goes in the same general direction and just keep your hand steady. And you'll end up somewhere uh, a little bit more than 120, maybe somewhere around 130. It doesn't look like it get high enough to be 150. So I could say with decent confidence, you know, more or less that 22 is probably B, which it is. Hap it does happen to be B. So I can try that as my first method if I want to do that. Just drawing a line. If you don't have a straight edge, you can use the side of your calculator or whatever piece of paper. Um, the other option is to do it in a more legitimate fashion. As you can see, um, this graph goes up by four every year for years. So this would be the first year in the group, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Uh, so I could, what I'm going to do now is set up a list in order to do a linear regression. 2000 would be ten, by the way, because it goes up by uh, it's going up by 4, so 2,000 would be 11, I'm sorry. Lost my mind, because the next group would be 1996, and then it would be 2,000. Might come in handy in a minute, but I doubt it. Now, let's do a list in the old calculator. I'm going to delete all the annotations out there. I'm going to edit some lists here. I'm going to delete these out really quickly. Uh, 1960... 1964, 1968, 1972. And by the way, you think typing this into your calculator is complicated. I'm doing it on a screen with a mouse, so, you know, I feel your pain. Possibly even more. This is a really annoying way to do it, and I apologize for how long it takes, but... I do want to make sure that I show it to you. I should have punched this in earlier, but I just didn't. And now I'm already making this part of the video, so why not? And the next key, the key to the next thing is just to make sure that you match everything up uh, exactly as it is in the list. So you get 63, 71, 83, and be careful to make sure that things are matching up appropriately. Like if I just typed in 90, it should be across from 76, and it is. 94. 96, 114, and 120. Now, I have my list, and I, they want a line of best fit, so I'm going to use a linear regression. So I'm going to quit out of this first. Then I'm going to go in to do a calculation of a linear regression. So I'm going to hit Enter, and it's going to tell me that y equals ax plus b should be written as y equals... one point six seven five x minus three thousand two hundred twenty point two give or take so what i'm going to do from here is i'm going to get move this out of the way and then i'm just going to plug in an x value and my x value of course is the year two thousand so y equals one point six seven five times two thousand minus three two two oh point two I'm going to bring the calculator back up for a second. I brought it down so I could write. Now I need to see it again. So I'm just going to go in and type 1.675. And my parentheses will be my 2,000 because that's a year I want to know about. And then minus 3,220.2-ish. And hit enter. And it gives me 129.8, which is pretty darn close to 130. So the answer I'm going to choose for number 22 is B. You have unlimited time to do this in the course test. Whatever way you want to do it is fine. Sometimes the hand method that we just write it up is a little bit haphazard, especially if the answers are really close. Could have been 120 visually, maybe, or 150 if you thought your hand wasn't steady. So just make a list, do a linear regression, and everything should work out fine. So good luck.